So in this video, we are going to run a Tyco L3 node. So to run a Tyco L3 node, you need to be running a Tyco L2 node to download uh, the state and build the blo uh, blocks on the L3. And to run a Tyco L2 node, you need to be running a Sepolia L1 node or have an RPC for it. Um, so if you've done those, you've checked out those other two videos, you have a L2 node that you can make RPC calls to, you'll be able to run an Eltfel L3 node. So we'll just go through this guide. It's on Tyco XYZ and get right into it. Um, first, make sure that you have all of these prerequisites met. First of all, you want to make sure that Docker is installed and running, and you want to make sure that Git is installed as well. And you need to have a little bit of storage. The L3 is a bit smaller now, but maybe when you're watching this video, it'll take a, up a little bit more state. So the first step is we just need to download simple uh, or clone simple Tyco node. So I have a Linux machine here. I'm in some folder and I will just clone simple Tyco node. And here we are, we're inside of it. And then the next thing we need to do is copy this um, for an Eldfell L3 node, we need to copy this env sample L3 into env L3 here. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that. And then we just need to edit this environment file and just set two values, um, L1 endpoint HTTP, L1 endpoint WebSocket. And really this is L2 endpoint um, because this is an L3 node. Uh, it sounds a little bit confusing, but essentially it's, it's just like an L, it's just like running an L2 node, but instead of the base layer being an L1 node, uh, <laughs> the, the base layer for the L3 node is, is the L2 node. I hope that makes sense. Um, so yeah, let's, let's edit this environment file. You can use something like notepad or uh, nano or vim, and you can go ahead and we can take a look at what's going on here. And like I said, okay, look, I, I guess we did name these L2 endpoint uh, HTTP, so, so that's good. Um, so what we'll do is we need to set this to the RPC of our L2 node, right? And actually on this computer that I have right here, I'm already running, oh, this didn't, this output wasn't very good. Um, I think I can do something a little bit nicer. Yeah, I'm already running a Sepolia L1 node and a Tyco L2 node. I actually have the dashboards open right here. There's a fully synced Sepolia L1 node on port 3000. This is a fully synced, uh, I think fully synced, yeah, it looks like it, uh, Tyco L2 node. So what I need to do is I need to communicate with that uh, Tyco L2 node. So I'll look at the environment file here. This is um, for the uh, Grimsvoten L2 node that I'm running. And I'll check out what did I set these ports to. So it's 8547 and 8548. So on the left here, I have the environment file for the L3 node. And here I'm just, I'm just looking at the environment file for my L2 node. So what I'll do is I'll set these endpoints to be that local IP address. Um, I think, uh, let me see what this is. Yeah, it's 168.1.15. And for the HTTP port, it would be 8547, uh, if, if I remember correctly. 8547, yeah. And for the WebSocket, it would be the same uh, private IP address. And this would be 8548. Um, yeah, you can do some other things here. I won't go into it, but you can do like host Docker internal, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You just can't do like you might think uh, just local host, like 127001, that won't work because it will be local to the Docker container, which is running. So you're gonna need to do something like um, an IP uh, address show uh, or something like that to, to, to get the address of this machine. So anyways, I will save this file, all right? We just literally cloned the repo and, and, and we modified one file. And what I'll, and uh, now it's fully configured, so I just need to start the node. Uh, so I can take this command to start an Eldfell L3 node. I can just uh, paste it here, um, and boom, I'll add this D flag so that it runs in the background. This is gonna like start up the images. Uh, <laughs> looks like there's, uh, these orphan containers it might be because I already ran like an l3 node in like another folder or something like that I'm not hundred percent sure I'm running a, a lot of nodes on this machine But let, let's see if, if we got anything going on in the dashboard. So this will be on port 3002 Okay, so Sepolia l1 node on Grafana port 3000 
L2 node on 3001. And then over here, we've got the Eldfelt L3 node and looks like it's syncing. It's at the chain head is at 1K right now. The storage is like tiny, like whatever, 30 bytes. It's going to grow. Yeah, look at this. It's like syncing pretty fast now, um, connecting to those other, others, other, other peers and um, syncing the node. So yeah, the way to check that this is all good to go is you can go to our Explorer and you can just see like, okay, what's the current block height? 53,000 blocks. Eventually this will get to 53,000 and you'll be pretty much good to go. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, I'm not sure if you watched the other two videos or if you watched this in any order, but I will just say one thing. Um, there's gonna be some considerations with like firewalls and things like that here if you're running your own server. So we'll try to do a video for that sometime soon just on how you can do like some firewall setup. But just keep in mind that if you do run in some, into some issues, you know, calling different ports on your computer and, and things like that, um, that it could have to do with your firewall. And just also be cognizant about any ports that you expose to the internet, right? Uh, by default, none of these should be exposed to the internet. Um, maybe this uh, port 3000 for Grafana. But anyways, just wanted to make you aware to be cognizant of it anytime you're you know, running this kind of infrastructure on your uh, computer and opening ports and stuff to uh, keep an open mind and, and consider those things. So anyways, uh, thanks and see ya.